as a team, we have tested and uh, researched technologies in the areas of phytogenics, organic acids, uh, PGI yeast, and also the recombination to respond specifically to what we hear from our customers as their major needs. Yeah, thank you very much for that question. Uh, I think it allows me to expand uh, on what I have just broadly covered. Uh, first of all, you know, I see uh, that customers are increasingly interested in many, if not all, aspects of animal production. Uh, the consumers is a quick access to information related to housing, uh, diet type, region or country of origin for these products and use of specific additives and potentially many more types of information. We understand that these consumers are customers of our customers. So anything we do on the application research side and in terms of product application recommendation should equally embrace both groups' needs and expectations. I'll give you an example. Uh, we want to make sure that our natural feed additives support efficient performance. And by doing so, allow for optimized performance and also reduced waste, contributing to sustainability and environment protection. Our example can be reduction or removal of antibiotics and ionophore coccidiostats, which can result in significant performance and health challenges. To be able to compensate some of the losses associated with these changes, which have been in many cases uh, requested by the consumer, we show the value of our non-pharmaceutical technologies in these situations. Yes, we are here in January 2022, so very fitting to talk about what's next. Uh, you know, in North America, our technical team has taken the basic research findings and information we receive from our global science and technology teams and tested them in our regional conditions. What we can do next is maybe calibrate even closer the best way of applying our phytogenics, short and medium chain fatty acids, plus PGI yeast, working directly with specific customers within their own production systems. In the end, I think the any solutions we bring to our customers will be very much customer specific. We can also understand better how combinations of various technologies improve overall response and that will be another focus area for our team this year. <laughs> yeah, one of the most interesting outcome uh, was seeing that in some situations, the technologies or products we were testing, uh, which might have two distinctively different modes of action, could contribute to a similar performance response livability, conversion, gain. And I think this information could provide us with an opportunity to look at the combined response of these technologies closer, to create a solution which is potentially more uniform in its response to work maybe with the different, different modes of action, taking into account the inherent variability of challenges our customers are experiencing uh, daily in their production systems. <laughs>